Hey, good morning, folks. What's going on? It is the Earth Master here on this uh, beautiful Sunday, June or uh, July, excuse me, July 2nd, 2022. It's about 9.58 a.m. here along the west coast of, uh, well, actually, Texas. I'm so used to saying that. We're still down here in Texas. Uh, looking at earthquake activity overnight, we did see some movement down here into the Tonga area. Remember, this area has been uh, bouncing back and forth with uh, earthquake swarms and deeper movement quakes. Uh, 6.9 was triggered about 5 o'clock this morning, 225 kilometers deep. So we have been seeing quite a bit of movement here over the last 30 days. Let me bring that up and show you guys uh, the bouncing back and forth of deeper movement, subsequent swarms. Uh, let's do 30 days. Here we go so we can see it. Uh, a lot of activity been stirring up out here in the region with uh, quite a few swarms. There's that 7.2 back in the middle of June. Uh, there was a pretty deep earthquake that triggered a uh, significant swarm up here around these surface levels. Uh, we also did see now that 6.9, 225 kilometers deep, that one overnight, 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we could be seeing uh, potentially some further swarming up along the Tonga Trench area. So we'll watch that today uh, for some subsequent movement. Uh, either way, definitely a pretty strong earthquake. Just a degree shy of the 7.0 threshold. So that leaves uh, quite a bit of seismic gap out here across the Sol uh, Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, and the Vanuatu area. Uh, so we'll watch these potentially today as well uh, for some subsequent movement following that large earthquake down into the uh, Tonga Trench this morning. Right, uh, looking at the, the big island out here, a little bit of movement across the Pahala area. Also notice the movement up here around Mauna Kea. This region uh, has been seeing a little bit of movement uh, in the past couple days, but this is way down there, well below the surface levels, about 15 kilometers deep for a couple smaller quakes. We'll continue to watch that. Uh, West Coast activity, Let's see what we got. Typical movement here across the state of California along the plate boundary. As uh, far as any uh, movement overnight that may uh, look suspicious or at least interesting. Uh, there was a 3.8 off the coast here of Malibu about uh, looks like right before the deeper earthquake activity got triggered um, over in Tonga. Uh, this one about 29 kilometers deep 2.0 also followed that 3.8 this morning so it seems as though almost everything wants to really pick up right before we see uh, some type of larger earthquake activity out here along the western Pacific Plate. Always always seems to do that. Uh, if everything's locked and pretty much just uh, built up and continue to build up uh, along the western edge of the Pacific Ring of Fire, uh, we'll see things uh, kind of kick up over here along the eastern section of it, which which includes the west coast. Uh, so we'll, we'll just kind of watch that. It's a little odd to see activity uh, really starting to pick up here along the Southern California area right before a major quake happens and a lot of times that major quake activity will relieve stress out here as far as this movement down south. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here across the area. Uh, not seeing anything spectacular. I'm going to be out here in uh, Texas for a little while longer. Um, we got stirred up in a bunch of storms last night and um, basically ended up in a uh, town called Big Lake, Texas. That's currently where we are at, but we're going to be watching the weather um, throughout the day today. It's going to be a little bit closer up north around the panhandle of Texas uh, that we're going to be shooting for later this afternoon, but uh, ran across some big storms. I did not get a chance to um, go live due to the intermittent uh, service out here along the uh, uh, here in the Texas area. So we'll see what happens today. 4.4 uh, .4 down in the Peru area, 80 kilometers deep, that earthquake, uh, about the only one striking so far today. Uh, still seeing some movement overnight into the Puerto Rico area, the Puerto Rico Trench. Let's check out the uh, Cascadia trimmer activity here and see what uh, see what's going on. Yeah, a little bit of movement here in Northern California, southern end of the Cascadia, looking at 149 epicenters of trimmer. We'll watch today's activity and see if anything stirs up in that region. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we're missing out here 
any unusual activity a little earthquake up in Russia uh, 4.8 that was late last night like I say I didn't get in uh, into the motel room until we basically found a town we were just out in the middle of nowhereville chasing these storms and it was uh, it was pretty crazy uh, but we'll try to get an update in a little bit later on this evening as well I'll try to go live here for the channel while we're out uh, and about all right uh, let's check out solar ham site here real quick and see what's going on well the monster sunspot region here looks like it's much further on the western limb here of the sun 3354 beautiful sunspot uh, it looks like it does have a very complex structure uh, it has been it's and it's been growing in size very drastically but it is starting to um, drift over almost out of view and here probably within the next day or so that will no longer be a threat far as any earth directed flares go so we're kind of watching just the rest of the uh, visible disk here with a newer sunspot region down here looks like that is growing in complexity down here in the southeastern quadrant of the sun so we'll continue to watch that uh, for some potential development and solar flares right now 99 percent chance for a sea flare and flare at 45x around 10 percent chance a quick look at the weather forecast here today uh, good portion of the east coast eastern region states have a um, pretty broad area of severe weather uh, two percent chance for tornado probability so main threat out there looks like it's going to be some wind uh, we did come across some some pretty good wind yesterday out here in texas and quite a few wall clouds and funnels but no tornadoes uh, today uh, we're going to be up here around the texas panhandle just uh, kind of observing stuff seeing how things develop late this afternoon uh, in the meantime folks have a beautiful rest of your weekend and uh, we'll go live here uh, on our travels uh, just kind of give you guys a little chat about what we're doing out here there's oil fields galore out here I wanted to show you guys all the oil fields out here by uh, uh, just outside the Pecos Texas area to the east there's like hundreds of thousands of them uh, what's it called the Permian Basin oil fields oh goodness there's it's crazy the amount of them out here but uh, didn't have any service yesterday so little spotty either way uh, we'll catch you guys back here later tonight folks with the um, nightly update and uh, we'll try to go live here uh, during our travel have a good one we'll catch you guys back here later on